time, Joe Weider and uh, Bob Hoffman and uh, the Blackman family and the groups that, uh, that had formed in publishing of, of fitness information, they were all into the two-hour workouts, more is better, six days a week, that mentality. The mentality back then was the more work I do, the better. The more work I do at work, the more money I make. The more work I do in the gym, the better my physique will be. What Arthur Jones had done was looked at doing a very intense workout but providing enough rest after the workout before you hit another workout. So these were 45 minute workouts, three to four times a week, and you made gains on that. A lot of times people made gains simply because they were for the first time in a long time, they hadn't overtrained. And now they were getting enough calories to be able to have them grow, and they were having their muscles able to recover because they weren't hammering themselves for two hours a day, six days a week. You know, most people assume that if a little training you know, makes a tremendous change in the body, then a lot of training or more training will improve you that much more, and that's not necessarily so at all. They really looked at the whole isolation movements, that is using single joint movements, and pre-exhausting, he brought that into market, him and Robert Kennedy, that, that concept, which was pre-exhausting a muscle group with a isolation exercise first, then working a multi-joint movement like a big basic.